this video, we're going to look at Kawhi Leonard's third quarter scoring barrage in Sunday's win. Like a lot of things for Kawhi Leonard, it starts on the defensive end here. He's trailing Zach Levine coming off the screen. The Clippers are going to switch this action with Leonard taking Kobe White. And Leonard's third quarter barrage starts right here with a poke of the ball against Kobe White to force a steal. It's going to get Kawhi Leonard a fast break dunk out of this. And this is the beginning of his excellent third quarter. This play starts after an offensive rebound. Paul George is going to kick it back to Kawhi Leonard at the top. But the ball's going to work its way back to Paul George at the elbow and, and in the mid post. And this is an action the Clippers like to go to in order to generate baskets in these short shot clock situations. George has the ball. Nicholas Batum's going to make a great cut here. And this little ball fake by Paul George sells the defense and makes Kawhi Leonard available on the wing. Now it's a 36% shot probability, but it's a shot Leonard has knocked down and knocks down here. This is just excellent ball movement and screen usage by the Clippers. It's a handoff to Paul George and then a handoff to Kawhi Leonard. Here comes the first screen from Paul George against rookie Patrick Williams. Leonard's going to flow into a second drag screen from Serge Ibaka. Williams goes under the screen, which allows Leonard to reset at the top and get a nice free and easy release for a three-pointer. And he bangs this one in as well. Bang! Kawhi Leonard starts this possession off with a hard step and a cut right to the top. Serge Ibaka with the screen against Patrick Williams. We're going to end up seeing the big Wendell Carter Jr. way too low in drop coverage. This allows Kawhi Leonard to get a 40% shot probability off, and he knocks this three down. Once again, we're going to see a hard plant right here by Kawhi Leonard. And this is yet another double drag action here. Paul George with the first screen. We're going to see Serge Ibaka with the second screen. But watch Wendell Carter Jr. Once again, not high enough up on Kawhi Leonard to deter him on this shot, which allows Kawhi Leonard to get a nice free and easy release. 40% shot probability. He makes this one. Kawhi Leonard was getting free for three. The Clippers just kept running these double drag screens for Kawhi Leonard. Nicholas Batum sets a screen on Patrick Williams on this possession. It's going to flow into another screen with Serge Ibaka right here. Wendell Carter Jr. is up here, and he has his hand up, but watch what Leonard does. He waits for him to put his hand down, gets another free and easy release from three. Kawhi Leonard was just on fire in the third. It wasn't all just three-pointers, though. Kawhi was able to get to the basket, and on this play, it's really interesting. Hard plant here. Patrick Williams thinks he's going into another double drag, but Kawhi Leonard back cuts it with a hard plant. Paul George is making the pass here. And we're going to see Kawhi Leonard get up in the air over the top of Denzel Valentine to finish this lob attempt. He was just exploiting the Chicago defense in this sequence. So this is the last play, side out of bounds. Ball's going to get inbounded to Kawhi Leonard. He's going to be matched up one-on-one -on -one against Zach Levine in the mid post. This is an advantage Clippers. But watch something here. This is similar to MMA. Whoever has outside foot leverage wins. Kawhi Leonard gets his right foot outside of Levine's left foot, is able to get to the baseline because of this. And as he drives to the baseline and gets to the restricted area, he's going to power up through this contact into the defender and finish with the left hand. Kawhi Leonard's third quarter was unreal.